yeah, it's just it's just like coming home really, playing in the forum. Uh, I think the forum gigs went went well. It seems strange that so, uh, that so early on in what we were doing, we were going to uh, be playing like one forum. I thought at first it was a bit much trying to do three forum gigs, but the support was there, and I think uh, we really broke through on the second night, and we, and we fed a lot off the off the crowd really. Once I got used to the idea, I did have confidence that we could do it and we could definitely pull it off. It, yeah, it went really well. The first night was strange, we were kind of getting used to it, and then the second night was really good, and the third night was really good as well. The first one was just finding our feet a bit, really. The second one was like that, third one was like, whoa. Rather that, 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 and that, 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 like that. What a strange gesturing area we've got into with this question. Give me something to die for! Give me something to die for! Oh, oh, so much so the angular. And we like angular bands. Just to let you joke. It sounds really messy and like unrehearsed, but also really good and it's a really nice thing. I would always support Carl. Give me something to die for! I think we felt a sense of accomplishment after the third one. I think I did. Uh, it was great. The balcony was bouncing, and a lot of the people we met afterwards, you know, just, I don't know, they're just not idiot rock bands. They don't say, fucking rock, rock on, dude. It was, it was also a great conclusion to our first kind of UK tour. It was kind of proof in the pudding for us that we could actually complete something that we set out over a very short period of time to do. The crowd was so wicked and like, they, you know, knowing all the songs, there's a lot of like pointing and singing. I saw a guy about me like pointing down. I was actually trying to make a connection with him. I think maybe I had movies in my mind. I don't know. Either way, like, I think I did. My favourite's probably Gin and Milk or Blood First Parsons. Uh, gin and Milk's best. Probably Gin and Milk. Um, um, I like that. That. Like burger, it's really different. Gin and milk. Gin and milk. You fucking love it. You fucking love it. It's the best track they've ever done. Gin and milk. I like most of You know, we're so thankful to take it this far, and after this, you know, we just uh, have a little bit more confidence, I guess. You know, just that little. I mean, that's how it is for bands. You know, you fucking. It's ups and downs, and it's really nice to come out of three nights at that place, and. Uh, and feel like it was it definitely has brought us up a little bit. We brought about a kind of a, a brotherly bond. And this was kind of like the end of a particular chapter in our little brief history thus far. The gigs are great. They're really, really great. I didn't fuck up the trumpet bit. You didn't. Which is uh, thankful because I thought it was really gonna blow up bad at that one. Our friends seem to have a good time as well. <laughs> I felt damn proud of our achievements. Yeah, I was pleased with it.